This is a modern day trap beat, leaning more towards the future bass slash electric side of music. I will be showing you everything I did on this track and a bit how I mix. First, let's start with the chords. This is a Rhodes preset from Mixcraft. Next is a bass pad from Nexus for the breaks of the track. Here I cut out the high frequencies and made the frequencies under 200 in mono. Sub frequencies should always be in mono. Next up is a piano playing a simple melody without any side chaining since it's not doing much in the mix anyways. This percussion loop was made in the sampler and then bounced out as one track. Mixcraft sampler is trash by the way. These shakers and hats with some delay and reverb. This vocal extract To do this I reversed the sample, applied reverb and delay, bounced it to audio and reversed it back to get this effect. This are playing a simple melody in the background of the drop. Next is the main lead sound in the drop with pitch bend to get this effect. Then LFO tool to give it some bounce. This is the main bass in the drop with a volume LFO on it. This is 
how I made it in serum. IFM oscillator A from oscillator B with a saw wave. This is just a basic super saw patch with the same type of LFO volume settings as the bass. Playing the same chords. multi-band compressor is important in getting the saws to sound brighter. Works like an ODT compressor. This is the bus with side chain happening. The drum pattern for the break and intro. Make sure to EQ everything so it fits well together. I added this layer for the drop melody to give it some more width. This crash reversed. Tom fills. This snare fill. I automated the volume and panning like this. To automate in Mixcraft, first select what thing you want to change and start making points like so. This basic hi hat loop for the drop. This is the main snare layering. This basic clap. This is the full drum pattern. <laughs> <laughs> 